One of the things that I think is great about this data is that it is not created for one particular stakeholder group. This data is tremendously valuable for your employees, for your managers, and for your leaders. So I'll give you this one example of a customer that really wanted to better understand the risks as it pertained to burnout in their organization. And so what they did is they created a dashboard so that they could see how each function within their organization was trending in terms of those employees that were overutilized or working outside of the typical hours that they expected to see, healthy utilized, working within the range of hours they expected to see, and underutilized. So that leadership team was then equipped on a monthly basis to understand what is the workforce composition as it pertains to utilization across my seven main functions? Those are really important metrics that you want to have a pulse on. You want to catch indicators like that because as a leadership team, you need to start having really important conversations around things like engagement, turnover, attrition, for the manager, rather than wait until the monthly review, they can look at that data and understand, wow, that deadline that I set last Thursday really did a number on my workforce. They've now all moved into the red zone. How can I be more thoughtful about whether or not the next set of deadlines on their plates are the right ones? Finally, we take that same set of data and we put it in the inbox of the individual employee. And so what this particular customer did, is they said, we're going to pro provide these personal insights so that only the individual employee has access to them. We want them to be aware of their own working habits so that they could one, adjust them on their own, and two, feel equipped to talk to their manager about how potentially they could create a more sustainable schedule so that they could avoid things like burnout.